Hi everyone, this is Renee. I'm here with a nugget from Pastor Cheryl, co-founder with her husband, Apostle Anthony Nelson of Faith by Fellowship of Ministries. And so this is a nugget, we'll call this a Sarah's Daughters of Faith nugget. This is our Sarah from our troop. And so on the weekend, she shared a little bit about boundaries. It was really great to hear boundaries in a, a different context for myself. And I just thought it would be great to hear more, for you to hear more. So Pastor Cheryl, if you could take it away. Okay, you can take it away. <laughs> I just want to thank you for this opportunity. And one thing I want to state right off the mat is that boundaries, when we hear that word, we get all tense. But boundaries is always in context. And over the years, one of the things that I've found is, as Christians, those of us who were born again and seeking to walk with the Lord and our teaching priests, we need to be very clear as we articulate to those that we influence by what we speak and how we live, what certain things mean. And there are three points that I'd like to make. The Lord expects us to live our lives in a certain way so we can be witnesses for him. And I found this to help me. These three points is rejoice in the Lord always. In everything give thanks for it is God's will concerning you. And do all things without murmuring and complaining. Those three things are positive guidelines that we can use to live our lives and to encourage ourselves to be always in the right place. Sometimes in our minds, because sometimes life gets hard, things is rough, and we just don't know what to do, when to do, how to do. But if I keep that in my focus, give thanks. This was hard that just happened to you, but Lord, I thank you that I'm still alive. Or Lord, I thank you that I have breath to breathe. Just give thanks in everything. Do all things without murmuring and complaining. You get what I'm saying? All things? You mean all things? Yes. The tough things? Yes. Find a light in the darkness and focus on that. So do all things without murmuring and complaining. And the other one is rejoice in the Lord always. Always exhibit the joy of the Lord. That is what gives you strength. In all things, he says, in everything, we are to give thanks. He says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that came from Paul in Philippians. And you know, Paul had a very challenging life, but he was able to say that through it all. And the thing is, you're able to do this because you've got the Holy Spirit to help you in all things. So I think if we live by those guidelines, stay within those boundaries, um, we can see life being quite exciting through the challenging times. In everything, give thanks. Rejoice in the Lord always. And do all things without murmuring and complaining. Bless you. Thanks so much, Pastor Cheryl. As we receive those things to equip us, I know that we will be not only kept in a particular boundary, but we will see the preservation and even the victory.